You've accepted the offer. Cool. You're a commander now. As are you. Beautiful. And one of my daughters needs an education. Uh, she can take duty just because it's really good. All right, that, that battle is a really easy victory. That's an incredibly easy victory. How do you have negative war score? Uh, I think he just insta-sieged a bunch of shit. Yeah, I don't know how we got that much negative war score, honestly. Um, he just instant-sieged a bunch of stuff, I think. Um, oh, I think he was- he must have already been- at, yeah, it's occupation. I think he was already at war with North Africa, and is just carrying over score from- from this shit that he has sieged down in Tunis. Um, it's stupid, and it really makes no sense, but we're, there's pretty much no chance we're losing this war unless, like, a bunch of really bad shit happens out of nowhere, which is unlikely. Um, I mean, it is CK2, you never know, but still. It'd have to be pretty severely bad shit happening. Okay, lots of new commanders. In fact, we are at our commander limit now, I believe. Uh, this is some sultan wants to marry a courtier. Well, it's not my family, so sure. Okay, they've, they still need to keep marching in. Okay. Easy victory. And we actually need to take a little bit of land just so that we have some at this point. Now, do we have any, um, do we have any siege guys on this? You're a low level flanker. No, no, and no. We're going to put our siege guy on this army so that we can quickly get some war score. If we're occupying even a little bit of their land, it really hurts uh, their score because uh, there, there is a penalty for occupying none of their land. And our enemies are in a fight with another faction right now, which is good. It looks like it's one of my vassals, actually. Anything to wipe out some of their numbers, I'm happy with. Uh, the farmers... Okay, what is this? Um, word stood against word farmers, word against Cortair's word about damage caused to a farmer's house by a cow owned by the Cortair. Uh, the farmer should be compensated. The Cortair was not happy. Well, the Cortair can shut up. Okay, uh, this is almost there, except for this little group. I don't care about that group, because I'm not going to wait for them. Let's boat in more reinforcements. And we're going to have to start splitting here, just to attach some people, and then boat them. Rise Chinese Honor Guard. Don't need to do that right now, actually. Oops, that was a misclick. And you can just go there. God, this guy really wants to marry a thousand Cortairs. Go for it. And, okay, we already got that out. We just need to wait for these guys to actually reach those boats. In fact, uh, we're going to have to split that anyway. And the boats are so fast, so let's just do that now. And then we'll we'll move that in groups. That's fine. In fact, you guys are all just gonna go straight up here. Let's we'll start sieging multiple counties at once. We've already got the war score down to negative eighteen, which is much better than what it was a moment ago. Okay, you guys have all arrived up there. I want the big group going back to Jeddah. And the smaller one here is going to go down there and pick up the rest of those guys. They arrived. Big group. Okay. They don't really have any serious amount of troops over here. They're all in the west, I think. That or they've been boating around. They might be dealing with stuff up here. Dry Dock is built. Nice. Master Engineer has really been paying off. Alright, good. Your reinforcements have arrived. Let's get you some generals, because you have, like, none. 
<clears throat> Hold on, which ones do we have just around? Is it literally any? Because there is a glitch based around that which is really annoying. Where it gives the symbols if they're leading troops, but they aren't. And it's really annoying when you're trying to give another group troops. And, uh... It says people are being led who are, or are leading troops who are not. Yeah, the only guy it thinks are, is not leading troops is the top guy, even though most of these guys are not leading troops. That's... That's always frustrating. Okay, uh, who do we have leading this army? Musa, Musa, and that. Okay, well, we'll give you him. And then... Uh, this guy, and we can give him this guy so you have an organizer. That'll be fine. Siege victory. Beautiful. We own some of their land now. And let's go up and hit them along the coast there, just because that's where they are. Even though it's a very, very small amount of people. Okay, we have two big death ball armies here. In fact, I want to just track down and knock out their big army, because it's... That's most of their troops. Yeah, most of their troops is that big death ball right there. Oh, by all means. Yeah, walk right there. As soon as you arrive there, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, we have another daughter. First name I see in the chat is Cobra Commander. Is now one of the daughters. There we go. Uh, Vassals aren't that mad yet. We've barely had them raised. What is this? Uh... Uh, court physician. Oh, yes. Make, make sure that my daughter is not dying. She's a sickly child. Alright, yeah. Keep marching. Keep marching. July 8th? Okay. Unless he backs out, which he might. It'd be smart if he does. He didn't! Okay! He's about to lose pretty much his whole army. Ooh. We gotta split that a little bit. I'm gonna split it into lots of small groups so I can get as many as possible on. And then boat him up. There we go. It's kind of overkill, but gonna get what we can get. And some Jewish Corter, who's very good at espionage. I don't really need him. What am I even paying that quite for? Oh, great. Cobra Commander's treatment was unsuccessful. Still sickly. Could die. You might already be dead, Cobra Commander. Sorry. Cover Commander says, I don't have any experience as a lady, so I'll try not to disappoint. Alright, this battle right here is easy. They don't even have a commander on their left flank. Their center flank is a skill 4 and a skill 11 on their right. They're so, so, so dead. Okay, we're at positive 7 now. Reinforcements are here. Let's just start taking more coast. How's our money doing every month? We're losing about 300 a year with all of our armies raised. And the castle walls in those uh, places just finished. That's cool. That's money. A little bit of money. And a little bit of levy. I don't know who is actually not leading. Jesus Christ. Okay, board the ship and get up there. There's another raiding group. Okay, we're at 7% war score. Really, it should be higher, but they think they occupy a lot. Uh, they do not actually occupy a lot anymore, but uh, they think they have a decent occupation advantage, which they are about to very much lose. All right, the boats can go down. Okay, we're at 14 positive. Okay. In that group, uh, fuck. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This is a hard reset of the glitch, basically. Is doing this. Uh, if we go to every army we have, it's just these four. None of them have any commanders, and yet... Okay, no. Okay, yeah. It still says that these two are leading troops when they are not. 
Uh, so we just have them lead, and then we resign them. It's annoying, but that's that's the hard fix for that. Which one has my retinue again? Um, was it this one? It's gotta be, because all the heavy cavalry. Yeah, this is my retinue. So this is my best army. This is the one that I really want to focus my efforts on. There we go. This army is actually quite powerful as well. I hate tricksters, but we just need something for them. I'm fine with that then, and I'd like an organizer on them. Don't have a spare organizer. Oh, we've got him as a spare organizer. Then there's this one is quite powerful. Uh, just give him the one guy and then give them... What's their biggest flank? By far this one, give them that flanker. Those two are likely aren't going to see any serious combat. I'm just having them help spread out for the sake of... Uh, for the sake of uh, sieging. In fact, I'm going to split them in half. To have them siege other places faster. Because right now, uh, their army doesn't compare. We just want to knock him out as quick as we can. That's a victory. Sweet. And we're going to have a victory there. Yep. So they're starting to march back. Uh, both of these armies could take them out. Easy. So we just wait for them to get close. Bait them into a situation that they can't handle and then do it. Okay, we got five sieges going. Um, childhood focus for a half-sister. Um, learning. Uh, you're not going to cause any problems with a learning education. Was this, uh... Oh, of Hispania. My half-sister. Um... You are... Okay. You're reasonably powerful. You're very decadent. Um... He's reasonably powerful. I'm probably never going to butt heads, heads with the guy, and he's actually not really my priority for conquering. I'd much rather start conquering Italy before I start conquering Spain, so I will actually accept that. He doesn't want an alliance right now, but that's okay. I'll just have that in the back pocket for one day. Worst case scenario, we have some kids out of that eventually, and maybe I can press one of their claims to get the throne for me. Cobra Commander says, I am dating a Chinese chick, so this fits canon. This is canon with real life. Well, now you are a Chinese chick in this game, Cobra Commander, so... Oh, how the tables have turned. Alright, uh, I want them to arrive first, and then I'm gonna walk in and take them out in Alexandria, February 2nd. Okay. Oh, they actually arrived early. Okay. Go kick their ass. And our score is at 28 positive. Do I want to march in with this army? Attempt an assault. Finish that off just immediately. Then we run in and then come back to keep sieging. That's cool with me. Just to have such overwhelming numbers that there's no chance. Yeah. My commander was slain on the battlefield. Um. Oh, he was one of my organizers. He was actually pretty useful. He wasn't super talented, but organizer is a very good trait. Makes your whole mar army march much faster, which is obviously very, very useful. Okay, so my heir, yeah. Uh, what is this, Trump Grump? Yeah, text is so small. Uh, I want you to have... Okay, hold on. I'm your educator. Chat, remind me, was it conscientious? Um, you know that picture that I linked to you? Uh, I link you on a few of the streams. Was a conscientious uh, that can be turned into just through education? Because that could be good. That is very tempting. Just is a very good one. I think I'm actually yeah. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with duty then, so you can become conscientious. That's a very solid education. Both thrift and duty lead to very good traits. Okay, that was a victory there. It doesn't count as a huge victory just because we had them so outnumbered. But we're still up to 32 positive and it really lowered their army size, so... I'm not gonna go complaining about that. Successful siege. We just dragged out a bunch of people for ransoming. Beautiful. Gonna get some easy cash. Another successful siege. And how's our money? We're actually making a slight amount of money per year. We're basically breaking even. It's so slight. But that's okay with me. Make a little bit of money, man. Ransom some of the family back. I don't care about holding on to them. 
<laughs> Can I go seduction focus? Assassin's. We have no reason to right now. Right now we're family focused for the sake of internal stability more than anything. And also because we want more sons. Uh, so that if worse comes to worse and we lose a bunch of sons to disease or something like that. Disease is actually quite unlikely, losing a lot of them to disease right now because our hospital is so incredible. But, um, you know, assassinations. You never know when something's gonna happen. So you wanna have a few sons. What is this? Um, your vassal, ah, him, is arguing with his wife. She's quite upset and they're almost screaming at each other. Uh, don't even know if you're watching them. Uh, he is my rival. Can I bribe him again? Has, has it been long enough? Yes? Okay. I want him to always love me. Because he's very, very useful to me. Uh, fuck it, I'll intervene. intervene. He was upset that I interrupted a private discussion. And I was a little bit insulted. It's not a huge deal. Alright, another siege done. Beautiful. Um, okay, keep going. Still have new sieges to do. We are really annihilating this guy in the war. We're gonna take so much land. Now, I don't know how much of it is actually gonna be given to me. I'm fairly sure it's gonna be given mostly to the Sultan of Egypt, who's gonna become quite powerful. So we're after that, we're gonna wanna really make sure that we secure proper power with him. You know, like a non-aggression if we don't already have one with Egypt, which I think we do. Because uh, he'll be quite powerful with a big influx of land. Unless, because his invasion, it might be considered an empire level and go to me. And then I can divvy it out, which I would prefer. Although much of it I'm is probably still going. Like, tax-wise, it's still going through him. Uh, because he is the, the king level rank of that land. <clears throat> no matter what, he's going to become a much more powerful man. Which, uh, overall, I'm okay with. Alright, I don't like him marching there. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't be able to reach him there. I could cut him off here. Um, you know what? You're... I'm gonna move these two both in and just be ready to, to take him out. There. If the educator is just, then conscientious can turn it into just. Thank you, Marinery. I appreciate that. Thanks for the uh, confirmation. I was pretty sure I had that right. Just is a very solid trait. It's very dependably good, which I like. I like that reliability. There we go. So that's that was a major victory. We're up to 78% positive war score. We're about to finish some sieging of some good coastal land. Really want that good coastal land. Betrothal can marry. This is Prince of Egypt and Half Sister. Absolutely. Make sure we really secure that alliance and that non aggression. And another Jew has joined. Incredibly good at intrigue, this guy. A master schemer. I hope he doesn't hate me. Let's just give him a little money. Just to make sure that guy never joins in a plot against me. Alright, 82. I accept a suggestion of- okay, good, they're married, good. Just making sure that's secured. 86% war score, beautiful. We're about to get it up even higher. 90, and let's go get another victory over them, and then move back to Alexandria, because that's some prime land that I really want to siege. But we got this one in the bag. In fact, he might be willing to give up now. Nope, not yet. Sometimes they'll give up below 100, but it's gotta be real close, and it's fairly rare. I'd say like one in every 10 wars I have, they're willing to give up before 100. It's usually because they're in other really dangerous wars, and they'd rather surrender to you first than them. Which, I believe he is in other wars store still. No, he is only in war against me now. He's ended his other wars, okay. Although he is being raided. Okay, we're at 100. We've won this war. Beautiful. And our threat has skyrocketed once again. We have gained land, and we need to worry about our vassal and land limit again. We're also now known as Sassarus uh, Ibramid the Great. There we go. So we are now uh, Badshah Sassarus the Great of the Ibramid Empire. There you go, Sassarus. You just got your first... Uh, your first nickname. It's not quite as great as our gre the greatest uh, leader we've ever had in this whole playthrough, which is, of course, uh, Ironside. He was fucking awesome. What was that? Um, Abdul Wahab Ironside of the Ibramid Sultanate at the time. He was still the biggest badass we've ever had. Ironside's a pretty good nickname, but the Great is a solid one. Harkens back to people like Alexander the Great, one of the greatest conquerors in all of human history. 
And that was quite the conquest we just had. Look at that invasion. <laughs>